This video was brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Get top quality razors delivered to your door starting at just $1 a month. Link below in the description. Skip it up and that up. Ted Cruz is a fucking idiot. Now, for those of you who don't keep up with politics, I'll let you know who Ted Cruz is. He's a United States Senator from Texas. But even worse is that he's on the subcommittee of communications, technology, and the internet, which handles FCC oversight. That is dangerous because this guy is a complete tool. So why am I talking about politics on Review Tech USA? Because this all has to do with net neutrality. You know, yesterday, I just made a video on it. Yesterday, President Obama made a very strong statement saying, hey, I want net neutrality to stay in place. I want the internet classified under Title II of the Telecommunications Act. I think net neutrality is very important. I'll have an annotation to the video right now uh, in case you missed it. Well, Ted, our good old buddy from Texas who took campaign donations from Comcast, shockingly, fired back as soon as he saw President Obama's statement on net neutrality. This is what he said on Twitter. Net neutrality is Obamacare for the internet. The internet should not operate at the speed of the government. Oh my God. Every conservative has to give up with the fucking Obamacare. Everything negative. Oh, it's like the Obamacare of this. Oh, this new flavor of Pepsi is disgusting. It's the Obamacare of Pepsi. They use that word. They use the Obamacare catchphrase because it's negative. And even it, 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 when soon as certain people hear it, they, they get all these negative emotions stir up and they don't use logic anymore. That's why politicians on both sides like using Obamacare in a negative light because it makes people not use rational thought and think, oh man, if it's like Obamacare, it must be terrible. That's why he said that on Twitter. And then Cruz's communications director chimed in too on Twitter. This is what she had to say. Net neutrality puts government in charge of determining pricing, terms of service, and what products can be delivered. Sound like Obamacare much? That fucking catchphrase again. Well, Amanda, you would be right about your little Twitter statement, except you're totally goddamn wrong. Obama specifically said the government would not be in charge of pricing. And I quote, I believe the FCC should reclassify consumer broadband service under Title II of the Telecommunications Act, while at the same time forbearing from rate regulation and other provisions less relevant to broadband services. So so Amanda, you dumb bought out bitch, does it sound like President Obama wants to have the government get involved with pricing and other products that cable companies will offer? Does it sound like he wants to? No, not at all. So shut the fuck up. But these special interest groups that want to see net neutrality die for their own personal gain are going to keep going. This is what Broadband for America had to say after President Obama made his statement. President Barack Obama's endorsement of 1930s era, 1930s era Title II classification would lead to unprecedented government interference in the internet and would hurt consumers and innovation. Further, for the president to issue this directive is a threat to the independence of the FCC itself by vastly expanding the regulatory bureaucracy over the internet. The administration is turning its back on 20 years of bipartisan consensus that has allowed the internet to flourish. The president's approach would threaten millions of jobs Oh, that, that's another fucking catchphrase, too, because they want to freak people out. And a diverse array of stakeholders, including labor, civil rights, organization, and tech companies who have long advocated for a far more restrained approach. So look, man, this is going to be a long, drawn-out war, even if the FCC actually does reclassify the internet under Title II, so it's just considered a utility. You're going to have every big corporate company from Verizon into Comcast, Time Warner, so on and so forth, suing the shit out of the FCC because they don't want to see net neutrality put in place. They have too much to lose. They want to stifle competition. It makes them more money. They want to force Google and Netflix to pay out the ass. They make money off of that. It's a win-win for them. They'll make a ton of cash from all the big big internet sites out there and they'll make and they'll be able to stifle competition which will make them more money they win in both directions verizon wins in both directions comcast same thing time warner same thing they are going to do whatever they need to do they're going to whip out they're going to have their claws out their fangs out and this is going to be i have a feeling this is going to be years upon years upon years of bickering 
in Washington to finally get an end result. And hopefully it's in our favor. I really hope so. Oh, and a side note to the guys like Ted Cruz and Ted Cruz himself, who are corporate lapdogs who pretend they're the voices of the American people. You're all frauds. Fuck you. And you should be ashamed of yourselves for purposely putting out misinformation to trick people so they will vote in your favor. Goddamn, get the hell out of my government, you frauds. All right, folks, this is Rich of Review Tech USA. Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting my channel. Have a good one.